and so happy Easter. Um, I'm home. My mom got me. We went and actually saw my grandma, but I haven't seen in a while. Um, my other grandma. Um, and we are going to my aunt and uncle's house. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest today, as you can probably tell. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. We're all getting ready to eat this. So, really beautiful. I don't know how much I can handle, but yeah, I'm excited. Um, are these mushrooms on this one? Yeah, it's going on over here. The one on the dark one. Alright, so I guess I'm going to be putting three days of vlogging into one because um, other than seeing family, that was pretty much all I did um, all Easter. But I will maybe explain in the morning the stuff that you saw earlier. Um, but right now, me and my sister are hanging out. She doesn't go back to school until Tuesday. So it's like 11 p.m. We're going to be hanging out. I am going to be doing a video for Fight Like a Warrior, which is an ambassador, which I'm an ambassador of. Um, it's just like a positive um, support of the chronic illness community on social media, but mostly Instagram. So I'm doing a video for them tonight, and then um, me and my sister Allie are just going to hang out, and then I bought um, coffee grounds at the store Fairway. It's very similar to Whole Foods, and it's, um, it's hazelnut because we felt that the strength, it was too bitter, so we think because we did a, what is it called, like a high or hard roast or whatever, that that made it bitter, and the fact that it was just coffee, it made it bitter, bitter. so we got um, hazelnut and at a lower roast, um, like a lower strength of a roast. Um, and then I've been having issues with my skin recently, which you saw from two days ago, well, for you guys it's going to be two days ago. Um, so I did put coconut oil, I just put enough to kind of massage into my skin and then let it sit. And then I kind of just dab it off, so I did that, and yeah, I'm just about to do this little fight like a warrior thing, and um, make my coffee. So this is the coffee I bought to do the cold brew um, from Fairway Market. So what we're going to do is um, half a cup of the coffee ground, ground grounds, I never know what to say, and um, eight cups of water, so it's a, uh, like... 1 16th, uh, 1 out of 16 ratio, whatever you want to call that. Hey guys, so it's um, 3.30 right now and we had to go to my um, dad's mom's old complex that she lived in to see some of her old neighbors and um, they had to like sign something for her. So we were there for a while and then we're going to get our nails done, the three of us, and then, um, then me and my sister are going to like a town that's like one over because um, I really want to go to a crystal shop. Um, I just want to like feel it out and yeah. And then later, um, this will be hanging out or whatever here. So I haven't strained the cold brew yet, um, but I will at some point. So that's what's up. Um, I brought my little little book, so while I'm sitting and getting a pedicure, I can like just look some stuff up. Um, and that's really pretty much it right now. I woke up in a ton of pain, but I took pain meds and it's worked, but not completely. Um, so I'm just trying to manage. And then I want to, I really want to take my pain meds later so I can clean my room. Cause I feel like a lot of times that I take them, I'm actually given like energy because like I'm not in as much pain. I feel like I can move around a little bit better and, um, I'm not in as much pain. I mean, I'm not as, um, like, ugh, 
um, like I normally am. I'm able to kind of move around. So yeah, take you guys around on my day. I haven't been feeling well today. Like, physically, so I had to take pain meds earlier, and emotionally, and I don't know what's wrong, but <laughs> I just had like such a bad mental breakdown, and I started getting upset over this stupid shit. <laughs> Me and my sister are gonna go to a, like a crystal shop, like one of those, uh, whatever the places. I'm gonna see if I can pick something out. I've been looking forward to coming here. I'm really excited. I want to get something. So I'm starting to drain out the um, cold brew coffee. It's a long process though, because it's pretty slow. But I'll fill you guys in later. So we're home, it's 10.30 uh, and um, we went to my grandma's um, and saw her for a few minutes and then we have to bring my sister back to school tomorrow, but um, I fell asleep for like a little while at my grandma's and um, I was going to go at least like into bed when we got here, but I'm still working on the cold brew. So this, I just need new coffee filters. This one I'll finish um, in a little bit because I need to change the, the coffee filter because there's too much like stuff in it for, um, it, there's too much stuff in it to, you know, it's getting stuck and it's not able to flow through. Um, so hopefully I can get my mom to figure out where the coffee filters are. And then this is what I have left. And I think really a lot of this is the grounds. It's not even the um, coffee itself, but I still need a filter. But look how pretty. I just think this is such a beautiful color. I don't know. I think it's pretty, but I guess I'm kind of weird. I think I hear my mom coming downstairs. Okay, that's good. Coffee filters, here we come, so I can go to my bed. Hey guys, so basically I've cleaned off both of my dressers. Um, I still have like a pile of stuff behind me where I need to figure out um, where that's going or how I'm going to store it or whatever. Oh, I made, I realized that like the past two days I haven't done like any of my like natural treatments or whatever, so I went downstairs to go get either matcha or dandelion tea and um, I figured I didn't want to go down twice to get one and then the other so I mixed them and the dandelion is steeping right now but it is just going to be awful but I figured like it's better than um, it's better than doing two at once and not being able to finish one so I gotta show you guys what this looks like it's awful <laughs> I haven't drank yet. It looks like a swamp. Like, oh my god. So this is gonna be interesting to drink. Once it cools down, I'll like drink it on camera to show my reaction. So I put like um, raw sugar um, in it, and I think that's what it is, raw sugar. And then um, I put the matchas just in the powder in the drink, and then the dandelion back is in. It's gonna be interesting. Um, I'm nearing the end of my energy, um, uh, whatever it's called, like, like my energy level, like I'm, I'm done, almost, I'm so close to being done, so I'm just going to quickly kind of pick everything up and then I can do more tomorrow and Wednesday or whatever, but I'll let you guys know about the, um, the tea. <laughs> okay, so I pleasantly forgot about this also. It's me when I was little, and my dad, that you can't really see his face. That was me. Anyway, so I pleasantly forget, forgot about the swamp water I'm supposed to drink. So, I thought I would give you guys a little reaction to it, because I probably, 
This is probably not going to taste like even remotely good. So it's basically dandelion tea, which is very, um, it's like an earthy taste, and mixed with matcha, which is like the strength of 10 green teas in one tea. So here we go. Actually, it's not a pleasant taste, but the taste isn't that bad. This is surprisingly bearable. It has a weird aftertaste like five seconds later. This is actually pleasant. Wow. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Hey, guys. So I'm going to be signing out for the night, but I'm pretty much like... Now I'm getting to the point where I'm not feeling well enough to continue doing this, so I'm just trying to clean up everything. It's like, like I can start over tomorrow, basically. So I got two um, crystals today, and what I did, because um, I know people that do this, is I just went in and touched a whole bunch to try to see which one felt, like, right for me. So I got two. So this one, the first one I'm showing you guys... This one is Apache Tear. It's like very, um, it's like almost like matte. So then it says, Apache Tear brings emotional balance and protects one from being taken advantage of. It is used to protect clear vision, psychic powers, and can be worn as an amulet for protection. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Then the second one, like it, that ended up working out. Like I read it when, like after we left the shop. This is the other one, gorgeous crystal. So that's sodalite, and it says sodalite brings order and calmness to the mind, enhancing emotional balance and calming panic attacks. It encourage, encourages rational thought, objectivity, truth and intuition, and enhances self-esteem. It brings in inner peace and keeping in the pocket in every room of the house will allow its peaceful properties to flow all around. It is known as a stone of athletics as it stimulates endurance. It's also extra lucky for writers. So that actually was perfect because I just had such a mental breakdown, such a severe panic attack um, that it calmed down really quickly. But um, I was really shocked that the Apache tier, like, okay, yeah, of course. But the sodalite, I was really um, surprised because I didn't look at that up before um, leaving the store. So I thought that was really interesting. But I will see you guys tomorrow. We're bringing my sister to school again tomorrow. And so we're going up to Connecticut. Connecticut. There you go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching.